here at Scanlon Creek, going for a walk, taking Sam for a nature walk. Carol and Sam had plans to do this and said, did you want to come too? And I'm like, sure, Carol loves coming here and going for a walk. We're doing a three kilometer walk today. Yep. Nice. This way? Oh, we are doing, that would be the Kingfisher. <laughs> Somebody threw, I'm hoping that's not what I think it is. Hopefully it's an apple or something. That just looks, that's bad. That is bad. Stoop and scoop or throw it at the sign, I guess, is what that's saying. Jeez. I know. That's disgusting. Sam! You ready? Okay. Stealth camping right there. Already built stealth camping dwelling. Looks like people had lots of log ideas. That looks, uh, I would say it was winter proof, but it definitely would help a little bit keep the wind off. Good job, whoever built this. It's a great spot. Hopefully, eventually they take it down because it'll probably mess with these, the growth of these trees. Well, look, it's, it's saying that way, that way, but then the trail looks like it goes this way. Another little shelter people built. Again, this is like a con conservation area, so they have classes, survival classes, and just nature classes and stuff. That's a, that's a much better shelter. It's, you just have to keep yourself off the ground, I guess. But it uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of snow getting through. There's much more stuff on top. Protected on all four sides. Hey vlog people, this is the first time I've used the uh, steering wheel tray in the Atlas and it looks like it fits perfectly. The steering wheel actually is a little bit smaller, it seems, than the Tiguan. And I was kind of worried and people did mention it in my live show. I'm gonna turn the car on because it's freaking cold. Let me, let me give you a heads up as to what happened earlier. So Carol and I went to Scanlon Creek. Stop dinging. What's going on? Oh, okay. The camera fell off the uh, windshield and hit my tur left turn signal. And so I was wondering what the clicking was. Let's turn that down, turn on my heated seating and my heated steering wheel to number three. Anyway, so uh, Alcona is a town, very small town. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff. I've shot a lot of videos here. Um, notably, uh, the Johnny's Burger Place. I think I did like their Incredible Hulk burger or something. So that was a fun video to make. Anyway, Alcona has got a lot of stuff. It's got our grocery stores. It's got shopping. It's got Japanese food, uh, greasy burger places, lots of um, pizza joints. And now they've got a brand new Popeyes here, which I, I noticed on the way by, I had to go and pick up fuel at the home hardware just down the street. And as I was driving past, I saw this Popeyes. I'm like, no way, it's awesome. It's so close to my house. Don't have to go all the way into Bradford, all the way up to Barrie if I'm craving some uh, Popeyes. Anyway, so I'm glad that this, this is here. Had a huge feast. It was like 32, was it $32? Yeah, $32, 25 cents Canadian. 
Uh, phenomenal. So earlier, Carol and I went to the Scanlon Creek and I don't know, the quarter of the way into that, uh, the battery froze and the camera just stopped working. So the Canon M50 uh, does not do well in cold weather and it wasn't that cold. It was maybe minus two. Like right now it is one. So I don't think it was any colder. And so the battery obviously failed. Uh, like I said, maybe 15, 20 minutes into our one hour walk hike. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That's why the that camera has now flipped over to all of a sudden I'm in Alcona at uh, Popeye's eating lots of food. Uh, I did the two piece chicken with the biscuit. I did a three piece tender and this location gave me four, <coughs> four pieces, which is very nice of them. Uh, not that they recognized me or anything. They just gave me four. I guess maybe one of them was small. So they threw in an extra one and that's great business. Um, Take note if you're if you have a, a restaurant business, give people a little extra once in a while, and, and they keep coming back for more. Um, and then I also bought the spicy chicken sandwich, the famous spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes, and uh, I did a fries. I also did their shrimp basket, not the popcorn shrimp, I guess the butterfly shrimp. Uh, it's funny they call it butterfly shrimp, but they're all they're all curled up. They're not like your typical butterfly shrimp where the, the person's butterfly them and then they're kind of open like this and they're kind of flat and big. These were all kind of all curled up like popcorn shrimp, which was, it is possible to gave me the wrong one. I don't know. It just didn't look like uh, you know, the butterfly shrimp. Anyway, so now, um, oh, I should have got the poutine too. That was another mistake. Oh well, but I'm so glad that the steering wheel, if somebody mentioned that during the live show on Saturday night, saying, have you tried the uh, the tray on, on the Atlas yet? And I'm like, oh crap, I didn't even think about that. Uh, I just figured that the steering wheel would be the same, and it's, but it's not. But it actually, I think it sits a little bit more flat. The, uh, the, the steering wheel goes all the way in and then down, which makes this a little bit further away from me and down, so especially if I put a pizza box here, uh, there's a little bit more room. I wish I went in a little bit more just to be just to be a little bit picky I'm allowed to be a little bit a little bit picky and I'm trying to oh, trying to get this I guess if I do a little white Get all the crumbs in one spot hold it So I don't get crumbs all over the new car. See that's what it was gonna happen dip that outside All these alarms whistles There we go now I can bring this steering wheel back to its normal position, which is all the way back here, up a little bit, lock that off. That's where I like it. Hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. Some of them are gonna be a little bit more boring, like this one was a little bit more boring. I was trying to make it cool, and but my battery died. And I was gonna do like a whole nature walk and play it with really cool music, but things happen and uh, th things don't go as planned sometimes as you know life isn't always perfect all right so for every single one of you guys that came by the live show on Saturday I had a really good time uh, we did a two-hour um, basically a one-hour mukbang with an extension of an hour actually it went longer than that didn't we and uh, so yeah we ate the the lasagna the big cow lasagna from Garfield eats so the Garfield Eats stores have shut down, and but the business is still running, so they're still selling lasagnas. If you live in the province of Ontario, I believe they ship to you, no problem. I think outside of Ontario to other provinces, things get a little bit more tricky because of, of course it's frozen food and they're trying to get it to you as quickly as possible before it thaws. And uh, it was a great lasagna. I, I definitely would eat that again. And I ate the whole thing, which was like 1,290 calories. I stood in the scale this morning thinking I was going to be heavier, but because I had fasted all day leading up to that, I was the same weight. I was two, 208 this morning, and yesterday morning before the mukbang and everything, I was about 208. So, But I want to get under the 200 as soon as possible. It's hard when I'm doing videos like this for you guys. Um, I, might, I might possibly do some recipe type stuff from home, get Carol to videotape it or I'll videotape Carol cooking uh, and we'll make some recipe type things um, just to stay indoors as much as possible if we can. Uh, COVID has gone a little bit crazy here in Canada and yeah, not fun. Uh, I 
think all the provinces recorded their highest numbers since it all started, which was this weekend, unfortunately. Um, and it's, I guess it's just going to keep getting worse. I don't know. I have no idea. I'd love to have a little magic ball, a little crystal ball, letting me know when the next time I can go to the United States so I can do more food videos down there and adventures because I love doing that for you guys. Um, people want me to go back to Japan. Uh, I want to go to other Asian countries and other Europe, European countries. There's so many places to go and so much food to eat. And uh, now that I've got my weight under control through fasting, yeah, we can just keep going and having more fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching my vlogs. I really appreciate it. Love all the fact that you guys watched the vlog to the end. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you watch this vlog to the end, I always love to hear who watches my videos to the very end. And when you leave a comment saying, hey, Ken, I watched to the very end. I support you and your content. Virtual high five to you. You guys rock. All right, guys, see you in the next vlog. Bye.